today I'm checking out International Restaurant Row right off of India Street, and I thought, hey, I'm gonna grab me a spot of tea because I hear it makes everything better. Brilliant. So I'm inside of Shakespeare's Corner Shop and Afternoon Tea. They are super authentic. They've actually been around San Diego for more than 20 years. Hey, Jennifer, looking great, but you're slightly underdressed. Oh, okay. Is this better? Uh, your outfit's great, but the accent sucks. <laughs> Jennifer, you have to look at our spotted dick. One of our most favorite sponge puddings here. Spotted dick. <laughs> so Jennifer, if you didn't think peas were bad enough, we mush ours. Mushy peas. Mushy peas. Oh, you have to try one of our steak and kidney pies. We make them here, including the pastry. And let me tell you, when we say kidney, we mean kidney. So it's someone's kidney? Yeah. Not someone, it's a cow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 I see something. The classic banger. Yes, great when accompanied with blood sausage, also known as black pudding. And yes, it's made of blood. Check out our new flavor of crisps sausage roll. Can't beat that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take those. Okay. <laughs> no, no, Jennifer! Oh, oh no, put it in the rock cup! <laughs> oh, what a horrible way to start the interview. Okay, I didn't mean to realize I needed to give that much direction. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know who you're dealing with. <laughs> Selena, the tea goes into... Into the cup. Okay. There we go. And then mm -hmm. a splash of milk and a sugar cube if you'd like. A splash of milk and... I See, I drink my tea with milk. Apparently in the wrong glass, though. <laughs> I'm never going to be invited to afternoon tea again. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> You've had this place for more than 20 years. Yep, 20 years. Been here every single day of it. Love it to pieces. We're growing in our afternoon tea. I'm... I eat it every day. Obviously, you are so connected to your British culture. If you're gonna do it, you need to stay true to your roots and traditional ingredients, traditional recipes, a lot of them from my grandma, Lucy. I want to do it the way we do it back home. Okay, so one one sugar cube in well, here? I only have one, but okay. you know, some people do six. <laughs> now, is there a huge need for such an authentic culture here? I mean, are a lot of British people living in San Diego? There is a lot of British people here, but I have people come all the way down from Oceanside. We have we have uh, second generation, we have people that have visited there, or they've read uh, Mary Berry's recipe online and they want to come down and get an ingredient that you can't get in the shops here. So we just fill a whole bunch of needs that you wouldn't even think you needed until you need it. I'm sorry, what am I about to eat? Eckle Fecken Tart. The Eckle Fecken Tart. Ta no, Ecken Tart. <laughs> Ecken Feckle Tart. Eckle Fecken. Ecken Eckle Fecken Tart. Eckle Fecken Tart. Tart. That's the Chicago coming out. Yeah. Tart. Yes. <laughs> Mm. That's yeah. really good. Vine fruits with cherries and walnuts in a crisp tart shell. So how does one end an afternoon tea? What do we say to one another? Oh, what a lovely way to spend an afternoon. I can't say it, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I would rather you didn't. And um, please don't do the accent. Thanks for coming in. Everyone's welcome at Shakespeare's Corner Shop, except Jennifer with a dodgy accent. <laughs> Tatoes! Tatoes! Uh, no, it's Tatoes. Wait, it? were you doing an Irish accent? She was trying to do an Irish accent because they're, oh. they're from Ireland. They would say Tatoes. 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 Yeah, let's just give up. Tatoes. Let's do it. Tatoes. 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 There you go. No, he said it like I did. No, no he, he did. He said it. nothing like how you said it. Tato. No. Tato. Oh, God. Can you say Tato next to her? Stand next to her and say Tato. A bag of Tato. 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 Thank you, Tato. 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 Am I saying it wrong? No, it's French. It's pretty. That's right, right? Tato. 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 I'm gonna go over here. Oh. God, are you okay? <laughs> Careful, there's a really big cabinet right there. <laughs> oh. We do like a spot of crumpets in England. Oh, let me do that one. Okay, so do you call it crumpet out here? No, what do you call it, like egg? English. No, 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 like for us, a bit of crumpet is a bit of all right. It's a bit of, you know, a bit on the side. What? what? It means a bit, of, a bit of tasty, a tasty female. 
crumpet is a tasty female? Yeah, so like, oh. you know, I want to, oh, I fancy a bit of crumpet, I fancy a bit of nookie, whatever you call it, what a rumpy pumpy, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what crumpet is in Britain. So this it's is... A, it's a, it's but a, it's a, it's a, you put it in the toaster and yeah. you put butter on it, but I always say, Fancy a bit of crumpet? So, so wait, if you were like... <laughs> if you don't get it, then it's not funny. No, it is. If you were catcalling me, you'd, what would you say? Um, if I was cat... What does that mean? Yeah, you would say what you just said. Oh, I, I, I say, yeah. Uh, you call me a crumpet? Uh, oh, she's a tasty bit of crumpet. you say something like that, but you'd be like... Uh, and if you're in the mood, there's always one of our tasty crumpets. <laughs> I just think it's interesting, crumpet. A great British tea, and as you all know, Britain wasn't made on chamomile. <laughs> Do you get it? No! <laughs> I don't get it. You don't get it? Well, it's no. like you need a big, strong, you know, dark, invigorating tea. It's not going to be made off that herbal, wimpy, pimpy stuff. Oh, the wimpy, pimpy teas. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. so there you go. Okay. <laughs> That's what that is. Um, uh, what else can we think of? It's so cute, because you're like... So innocent. This is yeah. such innocence right here. I like don't have any comebacks for this story. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's usually hope, like Yeah, all right, or something like um <laughs> Hope you like hope you like our oh, t shirts. Of course this isn't the case right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, these are hula hoops, yeah. So um I'll, I could do it because I've got the mask on, it's always difficult to eat with you know what I mean? Mm hmm Something like that. Huh? Just tell me what they are. All right. They're like <laughs> corn snacks that, and as kids, we'd put them on our fingers and bite them off and I'd always bite my finger. Twiglets, Mr. Bean, yeah. Twiglets, as featured on Mr. Bean, taste like sticks off a tree dumped in Marmite. Why would you want to eat that? Because I love them. All right. Okay. If you ever fancied your crisps being a bit fishy, here we go. Ew! <laughs> does it taste like a shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's offensive to put the pinky up, isn't it? Um, I don't know. Is that offensive? Well, aren't you not supposed to put the pinky up? Well, it used to be put the... You're not supposed to put the pinky up anymore. Yeah. It's, not, it's not done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I forget where... You know what? You know where it came from, putting the pinky up? It came from two areas. It came from when they didn't have handles on the cups. So you would do that to balance the cup because it didn't have a handle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you'd do that and it would just... And it also came from then the knights... Um, the night, uh, the, the back in the day, like King Richards and all that nights, they would put their, when they were drinking, they would put their pinky up and it would distinguish them between them and common folk. Oh. Here we have our traditional British afternoon tea. We have a rosemary and thyme chicken salad, roast beef butter lettuce on horseradish cream. We have an egg salad and chive. We have a Stilton cranberry and walnuts in the volivant. We have our bubble and squeak quiche with our mini sausage rolls. Goes really well with the Branston pickle, which is chopped vegetables in a sweet sauce. Our proper English scones with our imported double Devon cream, signature made lemon curd and our strawberry jam. We have our Eccle Fecken tarts, strawberry sponge with our fruit buttercream and our made with love shortbread. Oh, can't forget the mature English cheddar loaf with our shop made Irish whiskey mustard.